Hey guys, welcome back to Ralph's house where we paint from the heart. I tell you what, it's such a beautiful day. Here we are in the middle of November, 65 degrees, sun shining, the leaves are glorious, the trees, the weather's just perfect for going outside. But we're outside and going to paint today. This is what they call plain air painting. I just call it plain mountain painting. That just means you did this thing outside. But we're going to paint this, I call it a tree. It looks like a tree, but actually it's a shrub. It's not really quite big enough. I don't think it's a member of the tree family. But it sure is pretty. And so we're going to pan over here so you can see what I'm looking at. And you're going to see all these beautiful fall colors. And let's see if we can make that. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Let's go play a little bit. I put my colors on my palette. And I've got fall colors. I've got my burnt sienna, my raw umber. These are background colors. Uh, yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, sap green. So I've got a, a palette of... Hopefully leaf colors, fall colors, tree colors. Let's mass in the background real quick. Let's get this background took care of. I'm gonna grab the biggest brush that I've got, put a little bit of water in here, and I'm gonna grab some of this raw umber. And a lot of water. And I want these strokes in this paint to show. And I'm just mixing that raw umber together in here. And kind of look and see how that background of the trees kind of come down in an angle like this. Let's get that in there. And this is just this is all background stuff. It's gonna be trees back there, rolling trees. So let's get rid of that main stroke. There we go. But we just gotta get some color on this canvas. Get something in there. And it gets gonna be up here at the top. You got more darkers and yellows and just all different colors. It kind of goes all the way up here to the top on top. We're on the side of a ridge. Of course in Tennessee, most things are on the side of a ridge, no matter where you go. And so we're going to carry that ridge, that kind of background back out there, and just kind of carry it down off that ridge a little bit. Carry it up in there, let some of that white, leave some of that white showing through. I don't want to cover everything, but let's just get some, something in there to paint into. Remember, you've got to have paint to paint into. Plenty of water right now. We're just trying to get stuff on this canvas. We're just trying to get something painted. You think, man, that don't look like nothing like what he's looking at out there. And right now, you're probably about correct. It probably don't. But we don't care. We're just getting something on here. Something I have that I can paint into. Different places, different shades. and The darkest part back in there is up in here. Up here towards the top a little bit. Let's keep that dark. Getting dark up there. You see a lot of sunlight back over in that corner over there behind that, where that tree is going to be. We'll try to save that. Just get it in here, get it in here. And I see a couple of big old pine trees back over there somewhere. This is kind of dock them in. We just know their background. They're background stuff, so they don't have to be a whole lot of detail there. Just put them in there. Get them pine limbs heading out there. Keep them back there in the background. There we go. There's a pine tree. That kind of looks like a pine tree way back off over there. And then there's another one. You see by using that brush and just push on them brushes. Get some, get some. Get some effects out of your brushes. That's a good pine tree brush right there. I kind of like that. See, that's still all background stuff, so I'm not going to really worry a whole lot about that. We've got to look where our light's coming from, where our sun's coming from. That one's more rounded. We're going to keep him a little bit more rounded than the other. So we know where our darks are. There we go. Put it in there. It's starting to take shape a little bit more of a background in there somewhere. We're going to have some trees in the background that are going to be growing up, and they just kind of carry on up all out of the picture. These are just kind of background trees. A little more water on my brush. I just keep picking up this. Remember, all we're doing right now is just drawing. But when you're doing outside, you can see what that tree, where those shapes actually go and where they head off to. You can't get that anywhere else well without coming outside. And see how that tree kind of forks right there and kind of breaks off and heads off this way. And that tree is actually out there. It just carries down to the bottom of the picture. Another one right kind of right back there beside it. And it's going and it's forks and it, it, it kind of meanders on up in here and gets smaller as it goes up. It has a branch down here that wanders off. Who knows where it's going. One on the back side meandering up through here. These are just background trees. That's all they are. Get my limb right there back over that. Keep it in the foreground. Little limbs coming off. Got another one back over here. It's got a fork right about here, and it's got one limb hidden on up to here, and it forks again up here to the sky. 
Now this is what the fun part of painting outside. Now I can actually see what I'm trying to paint. It's a whole lot easier than trying to do it in the studio. These things are actually there. And we know the shadows, if the sun's coming from over there, we're going to have the shadow side of that tree. So let's cut that in there. But I don't want a lot of detail. It is just what it is. Background. We're going to keep it in the background. That one's got forks off. And kind of carry those up there like that. And just have it forked. There's another tree growing here because it's kind of, it's falling over. There's an old tree falling over, coming between those trees. Now you're painting what you actually see in a forest. Nothing grows straight up and down. It's all over the place. And even in front, you got some little thin trees coming up. We're gonna catch these little saplings. They grow pretty straight. That's how we know they're saplings. You got them long limbs that kind of come off. And... See, that's it. You can see them, we know they're there. There's another little sapling kind of growing from over in here, and he's going on up there. These little saplings grow fast and grow tall because they're trying to reach up to get some of that sunshine that the big trees are keeping off of them. They want that sunshine, so they're going up for the sky. So we're just cutting in some sunshine trees back in there. Now I'm going to grab some of this uh, sienna, burnt sienna in here, just to give me some colors back in here. Get some colors back in here behind these trees a little bit. So it's just not all a flat color. I like that color. And just get some effect. Just use your brush. Mash that brush. Look at this. Some background stuff. But mash it in there. Mash it in there. Just carry that color. My God. It. Just create different areas. Again, more color you got, the more depth you're going to have. So put some back in there. And look where the darks are in there. The farther we get down, the darker it's going to get. Let's keep a... Uh, Keep this good light color up here, up here at the top, and I like that up there. That's pretty good. Back here behind those trees there. Now, because we're gonna put them trees back on top, of course we got these green pine trees in here, but between them, there's more hardwoods in there somewhere, so we'll cut them in, kind of cover that up. Don't be afraid to roll them colors in there. So, put some more water on your brush. Use plenty of water. Big washes, look at it. We gotta cover this canvas. We gotta cover this canvas. Something to paint into. That's all we're trying to create. Something to paint into. And get, don't be afraid to grab a bunch of paint. Let it show. Let it show into what we're doing in here. And I can still see my tree. So there it is. There's that tree right there. I hadn't lost them. They're still there. Now this is what painting's all about. And on a day like today, there ain't nothing better than be sitting outside painting these trees. It is just pretty and gorgeous out there. Let's get some more of that color in there. I like that color. That's just a good woodsy color. Good background color. Moves it in. Just moves it everywhere. Let's see what I got in here. And I tell you what, we're gonna go and dry this, add some more colors. Y'all come back next time. Y'all come.